Hi, I'm Hannah Marsden and I'm a PhD student in chemical engineering at the University of Hull, England. Climate change is something that is affecting everyone, from the snowstorms down in Texas that we've seen, to the uh, bleaching of the coral reefs, to general deforestation. Everything is related back to the climate. Renewable energy is one of the best ways that we can start to make a difference by improving these solutions we can, and the technology behind them. We can make a real difference to how the climate looks. So I'm really excited about improving offshore wind energy, which is my specialty, um, to make sure this is a more sustainable approach and can be something that works long term and will make a real difference to the environment. And at the moment, my research is looking at ways that we can make less carbon intensive manufacturing processes. So how we can lower the carbon in the feedstocks and then how we can lower the energy requirement for actual manufacturing of turbine blades and all of this should make a real difference in industry and reduce the waste and improve the circular economy that we see being developed in certain industries um, and I'd love if we could become a circular industry with everything um, where something gets finished with it becomes a new product and really push for that. Um, so in 10 years time I would love to see the energy mix of renewable energies um, being a much higher proportion up to 90% and having a transition away from this heavy reliance on fossil fuels that we see to this day, even though people are aware that it's a bad thing and it's not something that we want to be encouraging. It's definitely something we need to make a change with. And so I think in 10 years time, there should be solar panels on the roofs of houses where it might make a difference in England. Yeah, it's grey outside, so we probably won't benefit that much from solar energy. But in some countries, there's no wind. So offshore wind or an onshore wind won't make an impact to their energy mix. So finding out what works for that country or that area and pushing for the right renewable energies could make a massive difference. So I think games can contribute to this because it will make it more engaging to the people who might be on the fence or who are younger um, to get kids involved, to make it so people become more passionate and it's not just seen as hippies getting involved with chaining themselves to trees and that they want to stop this happening. It's more, how can we work together to get somewhere? We need to make it sustainable for industry so we can keep the economy just going, but it also needs to be sustainable for the planet so we can support the planet. So I think games are a really good way that we can reduce that tabooness and the stereotypes surrounding this as an issue um, and make it a more accepted and talked about and developed idea and bring the issues to people who might not have really heard of them or be aware of how they could make an impact.